we need to pause for a minute and talk about what we mean by the change in a quantity. And in particular, we need to talk about the signed change in a quantity. That is, a change that cares whether it's positive or negative. So let me give you an example. Suppose that a worker's salary is raised from 33000 to 35000 We want to be able to distinguish that situation from the situation where a worker's salary is lowered from 35000 to 33000 And to me, positive numbers make sense to represent something getting bigger. And negative numbers make sense to represent something getting smaller. That seems to be what positive numbers and what negative numbers represent. So we want to define our signed change in a way that in this example the answer is positive, and in this example the answer is negative. How can we do that? This is how we define the signed change in a quantity. The change in a quantity is equal to its final value minus its starting value. So in the first example, the change is the final value, 35,000, minus the starting value, 33,000, is positive 2000. In the second example, the change is the final value, 33,000, minus the starting value, 35,000, which is negative 2000. In the first example, the change is positive 2000. In the second example, the change is negative 2,000. When we find that the change is positive, that means the final value must have been larger than the starting value. So we've seen an increase. When we find that a change is negative, that means that the final value must have been smaller than the starting value. That represents a decrease. Now there's another very useful form that this equation can take. Watch what happens if I assume that I know the starting value and add that to both sides. I'll add the starting value on the left and add the starting value on the right. These cancel out. Notice these are not like terms. I just get that the starting value plus the change is equal to the final value. That's not a new equation. That's just another form of the same equation for signed change. However, both of these forms are going to be very useful to us. So we want to keep both of them in mind.